Hey guys, it's Rich. Hey guys, it's Rich. But today we're gonna share a real brief. Yeah, Province. Oh, man, broke my signage. Three today. Bringing you another. Guys, thanks for watching this too. Oh. All right. The Vegas heat is back. Just watching uh, the news this morning. Cassandra Jones actually touched the heat map and instantly melted. It is gonna be a hot one. So here's some tips on how to protect yourself um, with the false accusations that come up when it's this hot, because they do. Um, that's the one thing. Someone complains about your air conditioner. There's no way to prove or disprove that with video or audio or anything of that nature. You pick someone up from the airport and there's fewer drivers out because it's so hot. I know a lot of drivers who will not drive when it's like 112, 113. I don't think it's real healthy for your car either to be on for eight, 10 hours when it's this hot. Um, it's just, it can lead to some more issues. But be prepared. Um, you know, if your car's not fully functioning with real cold air throughout the cabin, uh, you may not want to drive. <laughs> I picked up people. But actually, I mean, a few weeks ago, even when it was like 105, they're like, yeah, the driver had the windows down. Um, I don't know if he's trying to save money. He was talking on his phone. And I'm like, dude, you got to put the air on. I mean, I would have walked in this if uh, I didn't know I was going to get air conditioning. So be prepared, man. Um, you're gonna have to max that shit out. There's literally nowhere to hide from this type of heat. Well, maybe a little bit in the Planet Hollywood Tunnel. It cools off like six, seven degrees down there. Who knows, maybe it becomes a, a heat cabin now when it's this hot, but just be prepared and be ready because you will get more false reports when someone pays a fortune to go four miles and the car's not at a comfortable temperature level. Especially, you know, you're picking up from the airport. They were just sitting in that little bullpen there for 35 minutes waiting in 110 degrees heat. They're gonna expect to be getting into a car that's really frosty and cold for them. Um, I know there's different opinions on this, but you know, I have a little, you know, soft cooler here, which you couldn't see because my hand was in the way. Um, do I give waters to everyone? No. Um, but I do carry them to have them, uh, especially in this heat. Uh, you may want to offer one. You know, someone's coughing from the desert dust or whatever, just something that signals that or just as a kind gesture. Again, people are a lot less, less likely to report someone who gives them something of value or, you know, even if it's intangible, some pro tip on something. But... You know, in this type of heat, man, it may make sense to have some waters ready to hand out to your folks. Um, and also, you know, if, if they, they, here's the other thing, man, most people turn you down. Granted, a lot more are more accepting of it when it gets this hot, um, but I've been doing this for three and a half years. Um, I, I don't keep them in my seat backs anymore like I did for one year. Uh, first of all, they're gonna get hot within, uh, <laughs> An hour or so in this type of heat I used to uh, put like an iced one in the middle and then two that have been refrigerated on the side um, you may want to freeze a bunch of water bottles you know if, if you do want to do that just as a, a safeguard to help keep you on the road because if you do get deactivated for that type of claim you are gonna have to go and get it looked at by uber or lyft or some mechanic verifying that your air conditioning is working 100%. They don't want their, their riders being held captive in a air conditionless car. So just be prepared. Again, as, as the price goes up, um, little things really matter. Um, and if you're in the Southwest, anywhere, I, you know, I don't care if you're in Phoenix, um, geez, Idaho is like 98 degrees right now in Boise. I mean, it's just, you gotta have your air conditioning functioning as best you can because again there's there's literally nowhere to, to hide from this type of heat um your back's gonna be sweaty you know if you use those seat back things you may want to clean them at home so they don't start reeking um, which they do especially mine right now it smells atrocious in here but i got osium so make sure you have this too as well guys but just be prepared it, it happens 
every year um, I could see elevated pricing going really high this weekend with the anticipated temperatures so be prepared to offer the best top-notch experience and you know give them something of value if you can I mean hell force yourself to get some uh, liquor store and dispensary drops and grab a water every time um, so you have some extras that's what I do I mean I keep them in here I, I don't you know, there's still room in my car. No one can sit in the, they're supposed to sit in the front seat anyway. Um, you know, I don't recommend getting a, a giant hard cooler if you have limited trunk space, because it could impact being able to take a ride if you pick up some folks with full size. Um, but, you know, I, again, I can fit like 15 waters in here and some of my own personal stuff, like club sodas and uh, other stuff I drink. And make sure you stay hydrated too, guys. Because this stuff, even though you're in the car getting out, man, that heat can hit you and really sap you of energy. So stay focused. And as always, be funny, make money, guys.